Hey folks, Big Dino here again. This time take a look at the newest Star Wars figure arts. Um, this one is Luke Skywalker, as you all know. <laughs> this time from A New Hope. Um, so yeah, otherwise known as Farm Boy Luke. <laughs> but anyway, um, this figure is actually one of the better ones that figure arts have done for the Star Wars line, really. Um, most of the details are perfect, but um, we'll get to that in a moment. Let's move him out of the way and look at the box. Again, I, I say it every time, but I just love how small these boxes are. They're so easy to store. They're so compact, and yet you still get accessories with them. Uh, I don't know why the Dragon Ball line is massive boxes, but hey -oh. Um As with the normal trilogy and prequel trilogy figures, we still have the silver lining roundabout with the gold Star Wars logo SH figure arts and the blurb. We have Luke Skywalker, A New Hope, and what I'm assuming is Luke Skywalker in Japanese. Bandai, 2016, made in China. It's Machinations Bandai logo. We have a picture of Luke at, on the side, and some pictures at the back as well. Yeah. We'll get back to that face, don't worry. <laughs> um, some guff on the bottom that no one can read. And yeah, they seem to have dumbed down a little bit. No, no, I was wrong. There's the other blurb. One on the side, one in the back, one sideways blurb, and one in the front. <laughs> I almost missed them there. Um, so yeah, putting the box out of the way, let's take a look at Luke. <laughs> um, so yeah, in terms of accessories, he comes with um, three sets of hands. He's got fist hands. Uh, there's one on him, and one here. He has two lightsaber holding hands. If I can get to focus, there we go. Yep. Again, closed fists. I don't know why they're so insistent on using closed fists with them. But, if it works. And two open style hands, or... Um, force hands, I suppose you could say. Although this version of Luke couldn't use the force at all. He was just beginning to get trained. Um, and he does have two extra faces and an extra head. Technically an extra head. He has the visor from on board the Falcon when Obi-Wan was telling him to use the force. Um, We'll open this in a second, and I'll show you the smiling face. <laughs> smiling face. Um, he's got his normal stern sort of face. I think they captured younger Mark Hamill quite well there. Um, and last but not least, he does in fact come with <laughs> the training droid. And there's two ways you can display this. Um, one is to actually attach it to the lightsaber. The thing is that it gets really, really tight about there. And if you've got it in any sort of pose, where it looks as if he's trying to deflect it, the blast doesn't actually look as if it would ever hit him anyway. Um, so yeah, there is another way. The little training thing itself has a space for it. Um, you don't get the stand with it, unfortunately, but you can have it like that. And that looks a lot better. Um, looks as if he's actually defending himself. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure why they made the lightsaber so thick or made this like not really fit. Um, I mean, for all I know, all I need to do is push it down a bit further than it would fit. But I, I really don't want to break it, because it's it's uh, see-through plastic. And 
it's not the softest in the world. I mean, there's a bit of give to it, but <laughs> I don't want to snap it in two. I know how brittle clear plastic is. So yeah, um, on to the faces again, because I did promise you that. So, um, to swap the faces on look, you simply pop off that, revealing the face here. You can, in fact, take the whole thing off because it does have a peg in there. And that's him with the visor on. Looks really good. There we go. Um, in terms of taking the hair off, it's a little bit more complicated than the usual. You'll see there's two pegs attaching it. Um, what you have to do is actually sort of pop it up first. Um, you pop it up first uh, to release the top peg and then you pull it out. So yeah, quite strange, quite involved <laughs> for swapping heads. Um, and if you don't do it right, you look as if he's got a <laughs> mess haircut. <laughs> uh, so yeah. I don't know why I just popped that back on. Get off. There we go. So, the moment you've all been waiting for. Um, yeah. Da -da. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, Damashi, what the hell is that supposed to be? That that would literally give you nightmares. <laughs> um, usually Tamashi's sculpt work is pretty spot on, but where did the smiling face even come from? I don't remember Luke actually smiling like that in the film. <laughs> uh, it makes it even worse that the detail work on mine. His eyes actually look as if they're a bit cross-eyed. So, yeah. <laughs> um, let's quickly show him with the hair on because, I mean, nothing could prepare you for that. There we go. And quickly pop that on to show you. <laughs> it looks so derpy. Um, I mean, it, it doesn't look as bad with the hair on it, honestly. But, I mean, it, <laughs> it just looks as if he's... Uh, it, it looks as if he's just farted and no one knows it's him. <laughs> I think that's the, the best way you can describe it. Um, <laughs> Oh god. I mean the the rest of the figure's perfect, it's just that head. <laughs> that head. Oh boy. Right, so back to the figure before I draw this out too much longer. <laughs> um oh, I actually forgot about the lightsaber. Let's quickly pop that out. Um so yeah, it's quite good. Um the blade is straight. It's kind of a turquoisey blue as opposed to the blue that's showing on the camera. That's because the, the actual lighting makes it seem blue. Um, but yeah, it, it kind of gives off the colour that it actually had in A New Hope. That sort of light blue, as opposed to the blue we see later on. But yeah, just pops out like so. And this is the lightsaber. It's actually got a little peg hole there. You can't really see. And that pegs onto his belt. Just like the Jedi look did. So yeah, works quite well. It does stick out a little bit. It doesn't really lie flat, just like Jedi looks, I suppose. But um, people on my forums have been saying that this isn't correct at all to what it looked like in A New Hope. And they're not wrong. I mean, the... Is that the ignition piece? I know that's where you always ignite it on like replicas and stuff like that. Um, but people keep saying this is actually the replica button, which bizarrely they haven't really painted. Um, but yeah, my best guess as to why this is wrong is so that Tamashi doesn't have to keep remaking it. 
I mean, for A New Hope, it was crude, the first version of it. I mean, it was literally made out of a Graflex uh, camera stand sort of thing. Um, if you've got the parts, you can actually make a lightsaber from scratch. Uh, but yeah, as time went on, they kind of altered it, uh, making it better. So my guess is they just made a generic version that fits all. So that if they do come out with a Ray or a Bespin look or even an Anakin Skywalker, that they can always just use the same uh, mould for it, just to save them some money. Because making moulds is actually quite expensive. So yeah, that's my theory anyway. Now on to the figure itself. As per always, I'm not going to bother swapping out the hands or anything, it's just the usual ball peg. As you always see with these figure arts figures. The Star Wars ones in particular always seem to be quite small, strangely enough, but hey-o. Um, in terms of posability, he looks up that far, down really well. Um, side to side movement is actually mostly covered by the neck. The neck actually does quite a lot of work this, in this figure compared to others. Um, in terms of arms, they can go out that far. They can, of course, swivel. And because of their butterfly sort of design, you can go over about that far. In terms of the elbow, it's just like the Jedi robes, they're a bit restricted, but they get the job done. And you can sort of maneuver that to get another joint in there. Uh, so it kind of works quite well. Can't really fault them for it. In terms of the waist, it's a strange one. It's sort of a, a T-joint with a ball joint going up into there, but it's cut out for that specific motion, the back and forth. Don't know why they did that. They usually just go with a ball joint and call it a day. But it does get quite a good range, forwards and back. And of course, a swivel. It can go from side to side. And in terms of the legs, you can see the T-joint just in there. He can do the splits quite well for not having the pull-down pull hips sort of feature. And he can also kick forward really well. And not so much back. Doesn't really move back at all. But it's an improvement over the Jedi look. Um, in terms of knees, they get a decent range. They're just a single ball joint. Uh, kind of limited, even though there's a cutout after where it stops. So I don't know what's up with that. And ball jointed feet. Get a good ankle rocker. You can swivel them about. And toe articulation. Which is not bad at all. So yeah guys. Um, would I recommend this figure? If you're a fan of Star Wars. If you're a fan of Luke. And if you're a fan of specifically Luke from A New Hope. Or even if you want a decent version of the blue lightsaber. Um, I would probably say yes. Definitely go after this figure. There's no loose joints. And all the accessories are really good apart from... I mean... That, but... <laughs> let's not get into that again, shall we? Um, so, yeah, guys. That'll do it for this review. And hopefully we see Han Solo and Chewbacca and the droids, because Tamashi have showed them. And I know from experience that Tamashi doesn't always release what they show. Hint, hint, Napa. But <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, guys, that'll do it for this video. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. If you stayed for that awkward ending, thank you. <laughs>